Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan with Titans of CNC over here at our facility. We are getting ready to actually film my personal first power mill program. So now we're taking it up a notch for the DMG Moors. 1600 inches a minute. We're gonna see if the machine can take it and that's a future video, so make sure you check that out. But a couple days ago, I was down at Zooks, an amazing company that came out of nowhere. It's like the new style Uber, but it's an autonomous vehicle. A robot comes and picks you up and it basically takes you where you wanna go. And it is amazing. So just in four years, this company Zooks has already created 700 jobs. There's 700 people working down there at Zooks and one of them like blew my mind. He programs his seven axis Kuka a robot boom check him out it's a beast of a robot over there it is a beast so this is Bethany uh, Bethany is our seven axis milling robot she gets her name from Bethany Hamilton, who's yeah. a professional surfer from Hawaii, as from you know. Hawaii, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so she can do amazing things with one arm. So can I, Bethany, Boom. right? So good. Uh, mainly what we do with Bethany is uh, mill all different kinds of foam, whether it be for engineering models, uh, design intent models, um, or even just fixing elements of the design as they come in. So you're, you're a full CNC machinist, CNC programmer. And then you have to add like a lot of different expertise, right? So now it's like you're bringing in different types of bits for actually cutting foam. Yeah. You're holding, like work holding is like, it's a lot you, different. how do you hold something that's so soft, right? Um, so we have a bunch of different methods. Um, one method uh, is basically just spray adhesive, right? Yeah. Um, a, a lightweight spray adhesive that will hold the piece in place while we machine it, but we can, we can remove that. Um, we've also made, um, you know, more in-depth fixtures. What's right. the software that you're using? So I'm using PowerMill, which is an okay. AutoCAD software. Yeah. What's really nice about PowerMill is it's got a, a robot plug-in right here. Many other softwares that you use um, basically run through a third-party software to do all the, the simulation and post-processing from the robot. Uh, what's really nice about PowerMill is that it's all internal. Um, that way, if I've got a problem with a tool path or something like that, it's not going back to another program, reposting that, and then re-simulating. It's all, it's all one iteration loop, oh. right? Um, another thing that uh, is really helpful for me is uh, PowerShape, which is basically Autodesk's uh, uh, CAD solution for, um, that basically plugs right into PowerMill. What's really great about PowerShape, too, is that it's basically an all-encompassing kind of uh, modeling solution. So it'll take files from basically any format, and then I can output them into a file that will work for my milling. Um, That's awesome. So how yeah. long have you been programming? So I've been programming robots for about four years now. About four years? Yeah. And you're killing it. Thank you, man. So good, man. Yeah. You're killing it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very niche profession. There's maybe 10 or 15 of us. Um, on the West Coast, I'd say there's a little bit more um, throughout the country, but it's it's definitely an emerging technology. Um, yeah. And now that you know robots are becoming more accurate, more repeatable, um, are they, able to are they the, stealing our jobs? Well, the problem is that it's not going to steal your job because you still have to have someone to program. Exactly it, right. right? Um, and you can now you can actually make things that you never could have made here in the states through automation, and then exactly. you got technicians that have to take care of that robot and stuff. Exactly, um, and what's really nice about the robot too is, as opposed to like a large volume gantry machine, which is how a lot of this material is normally handled, yeah. um, we have a much smaller footprint. Um, it's also much more nimble. Um, a lot of times when you come down with a, a big vertical uh, gantry, um, getting to the side of a part can be very difficult, and it can take multiple operations to get that. With the robot, it can basically flip onto any axis and be able to machine that. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, experienced programmers kind of just beat their head against the wall when yeah. it comes to um, machining with a robot. Yeah. Um, there's there's that's, multiple that's, that's, reasons for that. I think it's, it's getting around um, basically how the robot operates and interpolates, right? Yeah. Um, when I pull up a, a, a code from here, it's, you know, it's 18 characters long and it's, you know, 
five hundred thousand lines long. You so, know, yeah. so yeah. it's uh, it's a it's a different world. So yeah, it's it's taken a bit. It's taken four years to that's get to where I mean, I'm at. Four years is quick though. Yeah, and that's what I was kind of like getting to is like now that with automation just like soaring and like companies like this, they can be in existence now, right? Exactly. You're making autonomous cars with robots, right? Exactly. It's like me, like we were talking about Hawaii a little bit. You know, yeah. I came I, there, I had no hope in life. And then all of a sudden, I didn't even know what a CNC was. I didn't know. And then I walked in, I was like, you're gonna pay me to like do this? Like, you know, I didn't even have a car. Like, you're gonna pay me to do this? And it yeah. just changed my life. So now, in probably in a similar fashion, there's a lot of people that can come in and actually learn what you're doing mm -hmm. and just end up on this journey to actually change how manufacturing builds aerospace, how manufacturing builds everything. Exactly. And just hit that niche, right? And then all of a sudden it's an opportunity, they get paid well money. Oh, yeah. Like, if you walk out the door, people are gonna be sad. They're gonna be like, oh yeah. man, give the boy a raise, right? Like, you got a little bit of... Well, to get the people that you need these days, it's, it's really difficult, yeah, it's, you know what I hard. mean? Um, and so I really appreciate what you're doing because I think that that's a, that's an untapped talent pool, right? Um, a lot of people that really want to give back and contribute, right? And now you're giving them an opportunity. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. It's you crazy. know what I mean? And, and for what Who it's knew? worth. Who knew? One of the greatest, the greatest country in the world, like there's no standard for multi-axis in existence. There's no like, you know what I mean? Nobody figured out education. Everybody tries to make money off it, and yeah. they don't do R&D because they would lose money, yeah. and therefore the whole thing suffers, man. You know? Well, that's, and I'm and that's, like, what's, what? that's what's really no great about kids. here, right, is that um, they definitely give me a little bit of freedom to experiment and push the machine to limits that I didn't know were possible, right? Dude, he's got Aloha Friday going on. He's got the Gee. hula girl up on the top. Like dancing when the robots like moving, like yeah, that's keeping a, it real right here. Yeah, that's Leilani. That's our uh, low tech accelerometer, if you will. Accelerometer. Uh, so yeah, I know when she's shaking yeah, a little get, too much, that the uh, it's time box. to slow it down a little bit. That's your chatter control. Right? It's chatter control. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Nice, exactly. nice, man. If you have an attitude that I'm gonna hone my skills, like I'm gonna be the best, I'm gonna make the craziest programs, I'm gonna look at all the little inner workings and just master it. I'm, yeah. And I say that because this guy has it. Like you are like, you just had a great attitude, man. Right on, thanks because, man. Because he hung out in Hawaii with my boys like yeah. for a while, but exactly. you know. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> catch surf, you know what I That's mean? That's it, man. Yeah, this is my biggest tool, this is my favorite tool. Boom. This is a Styrotech uh, milling tool. Uh, it's hollow actually, so we've got a, a disc that sits on top of this and it can actually suck the material out as it's machining. So it's just like a vacuum, as the material comes out, it just sucks into the tool. Exactly. When, so, do, you, when do you ever see that? That's crazy. Yeah, so what's really nice about that is it, it removes um, dust and particulate from the room. It also looks really cool. Uh, we have a lot of names for this tool. None of them I can repeat on camera. This is one of my favorite tools, actually. I just got it. Um, this is a Kenna Metal. So this is a, an interchangeable tool tip, right? Duo lock. Exactly. Boom. So. so not, not, not like, I'm just saying, like, we're in sync right there. Dual yeah. lock is awesome. It is, yeah. And it's great for me, especially because, um, you know, a lot of times I need the reach on the on the yeah. machine to overcome uh, the axes and, the, and a little bit of the limitations there, right? And then you, and you basically just switch out that Switch, switch out that out. tip if I need a if I need a end mill, if I need a, a ball nose, whatever. Um, exactly. It's great. A um, lot of guys are spending all this money for all this carbide when you could like buy that much carbide and save exactly. a huge amount of money and they don't even know. Exactly. Duo lock by Canna Metal. That's a good commercial. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a great tool. I've, I've loved using their tools. This is what I was describing earlier. So this is the part we got from our supplier. They've changed the design since uh, since these parts were made by the supplier. Now. If we were to send them back to the supplier, it's a four to six week lead time, right? Yeah. We're building vehicles over there. So instead, I made a jig for uh, Bethany right over here, plop them in, and then you can see we, we cut these down, right? Um, so that they'll actually fit in the vehicle. Um, again, this is something that doesn't take me a whole lot of time, um, but saved us six weeks shipping, headaches with suppliers, all that kind of stuff. So Boom, get it done. Exactly. Um, and this is another kind of example too. So this is like a, a model of our compute structure, and this is a model of our uh, floor for the vehicle. Uh, what we made this for was, at first we were testing different uh, compute modules to make sure that they fit in, into this uh, 
model. Now we're using the uh, model of the compute with this model to do fit checks for everything from electrical to um, you know HVAC wiring, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's very tight in our vehicle, so being able to use this is you know saving the harness team a lot of time and money, especially awesome. when you know this is a thousand dollars worth of material as opposed to multiple thousands of dollars for the actual parts that we need. So you just mach you machine this whole thing out? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Nice. And the great part about Bethany is this is a few hours, you know what I mean? Um, so uh, she's really quick at getting it done. Um, yeah, I like a little temperamental at times, but yeah, she's pretty great. That's awesome. And then we've got, uh, this is coming up, uh, this is my next iteration. This is uh, this like Rick. Ba this is Baby Kuka or so this is, is it? Yeah, Rick? so this is Rick, named after Rick Allen, for the uh, one-armed drummer from uh, Def Leppard. Okay. So we're going to use this robot for scanning and pick and place and a lot of smaller operations that Bethany is just too big for. Um, this is this is coming soon. So maybe the next time you come by, we'll, we'll awesome. have this guy doing some, nice. some cool stuff. Cool. Awesome.